Hi everybody, this is Jara B. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about my ear piercing. I got a cartilage, I got my cartilage pierced on um, August, Friday, August 16th. And today is Wednesday, August 28th. And I just want to talk a little bit about my almost two week journey with this piercing. Okay, my daughter and I on Friday, August the 16th, 2019, we went and had a piercing done by a reputable piercing salon here in our city. They're um, certified with the American Piercers Association or whatever their title is. So today I just wanna tell you a little bit about my journey so far for this almost two week time frame, okay? Now, I'm a little older than most people who are, um, that I've seen on YouTube getting piercings. So my piercing is here on my right ear, my helix, but the flat part of my helix. You can probably see here, this is where I got my piercing. This piercing is less than two weeks old. So let me tell you about her. <laughs> um, I'm in pain. This is very painful. I wonder if I were younger, would my experience still be the same as far as the pain? I've watched, I did some research before the piercing, before I got my piercing and people on YouTube saying, um, you know, it didn't hurt or whatever. Now, the initial piercing did not hurt. When they took the needle through the cartilage, I felt maybe a, a stinging, piercing sensation for maybe three seconds. Then after that, I was fine. I'm telling you, like I said, I got this done on a Friday. No problem. I thought that this was going to be easy peasy. I'd never slept on it because they told me right away to sleep on a travel pillow. So I did. I have a travel pillow. Put your um, head on, lay your head on a pillow where your ear is going through the pillow so it's not touching anything. You're not laying, actually laying on the, um, on your pillow. Fine. Let me tell you. <clears throat> the first, let me see, that was a Friday. So... This piercing right here started going crazy by Wednesday, August 21st. So we're talking maybe five, four or five days later. It started to swell. It started giving me a lot of pain. I mean, cause at first you guys, I was so happy. I'm like, this is gonna be so easy. I'm not gonna have any problems with this. Then four days later, it starts flaring up. You can't, you could not see the back of my earring. Um, my ear had swelled up so bad. Um, so then I went out and I buy all kind of things to try to help me maybe get, take the swelling done, down. Um, our piercer never suggested the sea salt soak and they were like, well, yeah, you can know, uh, you can do it if you want, but you know, you don't have to. So I just got, they gave us this piercing aftercare. It's a, um, wound wash and I've been using this on it, no problem, um, you know, but nothing was taking the swelling down, okay? So I was using that every day, and I said, okay, let me go out and buy some sea salt, I'll do, no, 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 what I did was I did a chamomile, and then after that, like um, last week, I did a chamomile, I bought the chamomile tea bags, and I boiled some water, soaked this, um, steeped the tea bag, um, let it cool down, squeeze out the tea bag, and then rest it on my piercing. And that did help soothe it um, for a while. So Saturday, on August 24th, I went to the piercer and had them look at it because I was in so much pain and my ears swelled up so bad, it looked like I had got like a double shot of... Um, uh, what's that Botox my ear was so big and swollen and you couldn't see the back of my uh, piercing the skin was starting to cover it up so they put in a longer post um right now I meant to bring now bring down the size of um 
the, 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 the post and all of that. I don't have the sizes of the gauges and all of that. I don't have it. But they put a longer one in here. And when she did that, I felt immediate, immediate relief from that. So um, the next day, uh, Sunday morning when I woke up after they put a longer post in there, my swelling had gone down significantly. I felt so much better, um, but there was still some swelling and some soreness. Now, today is Wednesday, uh, August 28th, and um, this is what it looks like now. It's still, I don't know if you guys can see, it's still swollen, and then some of my skin is peeling. Um, it's kind of bruised looking compared to this ear. If you can see the difference between, I don't really want to touch it because I don't, I try not to touch it. But, oh man, I really like this piercing, you guys. I want to work with it. It hasn't even been quite two weeks yet. I want to... I want to work with this because I really like it and I'm 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 in control of this ear of my ear so I really want to I really want it I'm willing to hang in there um, if there's any advice that you guys can give me on making the pain go away um, comment below let me know what you're doing give me some tips and some tricks on the pain I'm in pain um, but I'm willing to endure the pain to have this beautiful what I think is a beautiful piercing and I can get um, the type of jewelry in here in the future that I really want some true bling here look at it it's just it's just sparkling she's so pretty but she's so angry at the same time you know baby well I'm gonna hang in there and in the future I'll report back oh another thing I want to mention I did find this on eBay some of the research that I've done on the internet suggested this Provone soap here is an antibacterial lotion soap soap it came in the mail today I haven't tried it yet so I'm gonna try this tonight or tomorrow morning is cleaning it and then going on about my business but I really want to love this piercing I like it but I am in pain I know that it's going to be a while for it to heal all the way and I'm okay with that I'm willing to endure it I'm willing to go through it I hope I can hang in here like I said it hasn't even been two weeks yet so I'm going to try to stay strong um everything when I went back to the piercer to have her put in a longer bar she said she did see some cotton fibers from my q-tip stuck to the um the jewelry and on my ear so I did go out and I bought some gauze pads so if I feel like I need to wipe it down or soak it I'm gonna do I didn't like doing the sea salt soak where I used a um shot glass I poured some of the mixture in a shot glass and I you know soaked my ear like that I didn't like that too much it, it was messy the water was going running all down my side of my face and my neck and everything and I didn't like it so what I'm going to do is use gauze pads pads and soak it in the um, sea salt mixture if I'm in the mood and then just you know lay it here or I'll use chamomile because I did use chamomile tea bags and I did find some relief that way but I'm going to try to hang in there so you guys um, if you come up with anything different, let me know your experiences with your helix piercing. Um, I Just let me know. I really want to love her and I want to keep it. I hope my body doesn't reject it. I don't have any infection. Thank God. I'm going to hang in tight. So um, thanks for watching. And like I said, comment below if you have any ideas. And um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Mwah!